we'll get straight into the next speaker. Well, he's here to talk about the consumers don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Well, this quote has got, got its definition and uh, why this quote? Well, moving on to a brand that has made a lot of news in the recent past, Sebamet. This is one company which has not hesitated in standing up and calling out its competition. The company strategy asking consumers to choose products backed by strong scientific research has drawn traction and now. Silvermed is moving beyond bathing bar category and building its personal care range with shampoos. And we have someone very special joining us to talk about this and what more. Please welcome India head Sebamed, Mr. Sashi Ranjan, who's here to talk about consumers don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Well, good evening, uh, Sashi. Good to have you here with us. How are you doing this evening? Good evening, uh, Mithin. Uh, I'm good and uh, I'm really happy to be here. Likewise, Sashi, I have so much, so much to talk about this and so much to hear from you. And uh, you know, the best part is uh, when we speak about Sabamed, it's, it's just transforming so strongly in our country at the current time. And it's only shaping it bigger, better and meant for India kind of product. So we are all ears to you. And I request you to please go ahead from here and give us all this good news and the future plans that you have in mind right now with Sabamed. Thank you so much, Mitin. So, uh, thanks, Sexton for Media, for having me here. Well, uh, before I get started, let me, uh, you know, kind of take a slight diversion and talk about history, history of human evolution, and possibly also from anthropology perspective. So, maybe let me share my screen. Mitin, can you allow me to share my screen, please? Yes. Okay. You have rights. Cool. So I said we will talk about brand purpose, but let's talk about for the top ancient civilization. So right, let's start with I have put in three civilizations as such. In this valley, all of us know we live, I mean it's basically India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. You have Mesopotamia, and then you have Egyptian civilization. Now let's understand why did they exist? What was the reason? What was the commonality, commonalities among these top civilizations which existed thousands of years ago? If you see, there are basically three elements. One is it was all about people. It was all about partnership, coexisting with others. But the most important part was all these civilizations had a purpose, purpose to live a better life. So the point which I'm trying to make is, it's very human when you look at how human think, how human evolution has happened. It's driven by doing things which can impact lives. In fact, our evolution happened with asking this question, why, why we existed? And that's why I thought this app that we try to understand human mind, human psyche from more from an anthropology perspective. And all these civilizations, if you see, they have done from an agricultural perspective, they have enough and more grains. They had art and culture, which even today, if you see, we don't it doesn't feel like it is prehistoric. The third one, which is most important, is it was more about coexistence, it was about a shared purpose. Now, if you move to the next part, let's talk about brand. And I don't see when we ask this question, why do we exist? It's any different from the way human think. And that's why this question is very pertinent that consumers or people do not buy just what you sell it. They buy why you sell it. What is the reason for your existence? Why do you exist? I was listening to Varun and he was also talking about brand promise. I certainly eco, you know, it's not just top line and bottom line. It's the bigger purpose, what you solve. 
each one of us, all the brands need to ask this question to ourselves. Are we really making a difference in the lives of consumers? Because this is going to be pretty important. When we talk about branding. So just to set up the context, uh, you know, Cbomet 2.0 in India as such, which started almost three years back. And I was pretty happy uh, working with Johnson Johnson in a range of country and global roles with working with some of the top iconic global brands. And this opportunity came to me. And I'm a big fan or a strong proponent of blue and strategy. And I feel there are two things. One is if I look at Indian personal care market per se, it's ripe for disruption. Traditionally, for the last three, four decades, we're all talking about make believe concepts, fairy tale stories. And I thought it's time to disrupt this market. Only thing which was needed is to take a step back, re specialize, identify your point of uniqueness, and then really build onto it. So that was one driver. And the second one, when I came to know about this particular brand, Sibamet, the brand ethos which talk about science for healthy skin. And in fact, they have been really living with a purpose of ensuring they're eco-friendly, no vestige of water, not being cruel to animals, all these things were there. But I, one thing which really clicked with me, it's a brand which really believes in encouraging people to ask questions. So when I start, when I married these two thoughts, one is my affinity towards creating a new paradigm in personal care in India and the brand Ethos. I thought it's a good marriage of really disrupting this market. And that's how this story started almost three years back. So we had a portfolio. We had portfolio of baby care. We have portfolio, entire holistic portfolio in personal care, which is skin, hair, wash. But the idea was this. There was a reason, there was a rational of why we went ahead with certain approach for one category, not other category, and what we'll be doing going forward. It's about looking beyond boundaries, looking beyond obvious, trying to understand at times the need gaps, which are not so explicitly explained, because at times latent need gaps could identify or can potentially identify huge opportunity for any business. And the driver is, how do you really find those points of disruption and be bold and courageous enough to deploy it and deploy it meticulously? And that is what matters. So just to set up context, you know why Siva made and why this journey started three years back and took a different route altogether. And when we look, look at brand purpose for Sibamed and why, when we ask this question to ourselves, I've heard about this, I mean, we all read this, that a better purpose, what, what can be a better purpose than impacting lives of people you serve? And to impact lives of people, there is nothing better than educating them. All of us have read this, I know kind of a quote, give a man a fish to feed him for a day or teach a man to fish to feed him for a lifetime. So we are worried, we are concerned as a brand, it is onus, I thought, the onus is on us to educate and empower consumers with new knowledge. Create a culture of inquiry. The reason I started with human evolution because the civilization which survived allowed people to ask questions allowed people to have dissent. I'm a big fan of this tagline which says, unanswered questions can be less dangerous than unquestioned answers. So let's ask questions that if I use a particular product, what it does to me? Be it, you know, I mean, uh, just like we are talking about blood pressure, so there is a standard blood pressure 120, 80, there is standard body temperature of 98.4, Similarly, when we talk about skin, there is standard skin type. And we thought consumers had the right to know 
what is a standard skin type mean? It might not be the only thing, but it is certainly one of the important enablers when you think about your skin care, because skin is the largest organ in human body. So our purpose as a brand was to create a culture of asking questions, create a culture of inquiry, and it is not just limited to product or services which we offer, it's across the system, be it about employees, be it about partners, let's ask questions so that it can unravel lots of truth. Things at times you might not have an answer, but at least we know this is the question or this is the problem which we need to solve. Going forward, if I see what we have done so far in terms of creating this culture is right from people, as I said, to our distributors, to partners, to our R&Ds, manufacturing, supply chain, distribution. We have imbibed this. Many times we might not have an answer, but we have, we encourage people, it's not just the product where we are asking people or consumers to ask questions, we want to imbibe this throughout the value, value chain. And the way, as we go along, everything what we do is focused on these three enablers which you see. So possibly what was there in the news, couple of uh, months back, but just one of the segment, we operate in baby care. We have a holistic portfolio in baby, which is skin, wash, uh, hair. Similarly, we have a holistic portfolio in adult care or personal care, where we have bathing as a segment, we have hair care, we have anti-aging or skin care. And each and, each and every category is very different in terms of the approach, in terms of consumer expectation and our own model. But what is common which is very much aligned with our brand purpose okay. is these three things. For everything, for every category, for every product which we create, we want to empower consumers with new knowledge. Second is our entire portfolio has a pH of 5.5, mm. which is supposedly the standard skin pH. So the third one is Whatever we communicate, it's backed by robust scientific data, research, and facts. So you pick any category, right? From say baby category, which we started. In fact, we went, uh, you know, with 360 campaign uh, in 20, uh, 2018 for the first, 2019 for the first time with baby care, and we have done well as we speak. We are number three in value terms in India in a very short span of time <clears throat> in baby care. Then we moved on to personal care. We started with bathing as a category. And we thought, once again, imperative is on us to use the right anchor to demonstrate the differential value of what we offer as a brand. And we have chosen pH as an anchor. The intent was never to be flash in the pan because it was a thought out approach. Every category, each and every category is different. We started baby care with a different approach. Bathing was different. And then now we are moving on to hair care. In fact, uh, as we speak, we have just gone live two days back with our 360 day campaign for hair care. If the time permits, I might share uh, a 30 second snippet of that as well. But the idea is there is a congruence, there is an alignment in terms of the key tenets, the way we communicate our values, and that is pretty much aligned with our brand purpose of creating a culture of inquiry, creating culture of asking questions. So what it does to me, why am I using this product? What it will be? So with that, I will also, you know, kind of take a few seconds to also share the new campaign which we have launched just two days back. It is about hair care. And once again, the new knowledge which we are imparting is the difference or decoding the difference between hair loss and hair breakage. So have a look at it. It goes with a campaign called Self Science Kiss so Maybe just let me play this audio visual for 30 seconds. <clears throat> so 
if you see the congruence is again there in terms of imparting new knowledge, because there is a difference between Baluka Charna and Baluka Kutna. And traditionally, for the last two, three decades, possibly, we were still confused if there's a difference between hair breaking from, say, roots or the split ends. So that is what we are promising, promising that this product is targeted towards hair loss, which in addition to hair breakage or helping in hair, you know, reducing hair breakage also helps in reducing your hair loss. So with that, I come to the last uh, slide, which I want to share is the takeaways. Is when you think about brand purpose, it's very deep rooted. So take a step back and reconceptualize the market. Be crystal clear why do you exist and what impact you are creating in the lives of consumer. And once again, I would reiterate Indian personal care market is still ripe for disruption, it's still ripe for paradigm shift. Identify your point of uniqueness, your point of differentiation, and be bold, courageous, and meticulous in deploying it. Because what you sell, why you sell it can be at best imitated, it can't be duplicated. With that, we'll just you know, kind of uh, end my presentation. Feel free for any questions uh, you have. I like how you said it. It cannot be uh, duplicated, but you can implement it. And that's really rightly said, you know, Ashi, you have so much more point. I have like, I've been following you for so, so many years now. I have so many questions to ask you, but uh, two years and plus now with this organization right now, uh, where do you see this one last question? Where do you see it uh, coming along in the next five years? Well, uh, Mithin, so uh, yes, I'm here for almost three years now. And the next five years, we are planning to grow 10x. So we have grown quite close to 5x in the last two and a half uh, years. We plan to grow 10x in the next five years. Um, but having said that, Nathan, having said that, it's not just a growth or 10x number which excites me. What excites me more is how do I impact, influence the life of consumer by imparting new knowledge, new education, give them new information. And every category, every product which we launch could have this element definitely, which is about imparting new knowledge about how the this industry has behaved traditionally. I'm so glad you mentioned this, that, you know, educating the consumers most important than increasing the number uh, in overall. So with that thought, I want to thank you, Sashi, for joining us here. It was delightful listening to you and uh, great conversing with you. And I can't wait to meet you in person. And uh, we'll talk about your uh, uh, days back in old organizations where you've been there and you've just done so much amazing work. I'm sure you can only take this organization ahead in a bigger and larger way. So thank you again.